Inside this envelope are the very personal private thoughts of a total stranger. Let's invade their privacy. Hi, I'm Joanna and I buy weird things off the internet. I bought a stranger's diary off eBay. This is a total stranger's very private and personal diary and I'm going to read it and share what it says with you. The diary is in this envelope. I paid $37 for it. All I know is that this diary was written by a woman in 1942 in New England. Let's crack this baby open and see what we got. We got double envelopes, people. Oh my God, right out the bat, very musty. You're not gonna believe it, but this is one of the mustiest diaries I've ever smelled. Oh, I'm going to take a look at what life was like in 1942. Who was this woman? Is she still alive? Probably not. If she was at least 18 in the year 1942, she would be in her 90s today, so she could still be alive. She probably isn't because I have her diary. Is there any juicy gossip in here? There's probably not murder, but there could be some other good stuff. The New England calendar for engagements, 1942. If I had to guess, I would say that this person lived in New England. That's just a guess though. Oh wow, came with two photos in it. I think it's a photo of the woman who wrote it and her daughter. I'll show you the photos, but I'm going to blur the faces. I'm blown away by how beautiful this woman is. She is stunning. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna blur her face, but um, wow. Okay, so far we know this woman has two kids and a husband. Her kids are named Barry and Becky. She often calls her kids kitties, which I think is fun. Tuesday, January 6th. Drove to Sears with Helen. Quiet evening at home. Made Barry a pair of mittens. Thursday, January 8th. Ate at famous boiled dinner. Yum yum. Bought two bras and a garter belt. Sewed lace on hankies. This woman seems very enthusiastic. She writes with a lot of exclamation points. Friday, January 9th. Made white cake. Cake all gone before supper. She makes so many cakes and I wish I could eat the cakes. Saturday, January 10th. Drove to various auto places getting bids on car. Home at 8. Found house robbed. Six police here. Monday, January 12th. Cleaned up and downstairs. Phew, what a job. Made chocolate pudding. Pot roast for dinner. Wrote five letters. Police here. Tuesday, January 13th. Headache. Three aspirins. Bed. She'll write about when she has a headache, which I can relate to. I get migraines. Headaches suck, man. It's incredible what this woman gets done in one day. She has so much housework to do. She sews, she takes care of her kids, she cooks, she volunteers for the Red Cross, and then at the end of the day, a lot of times she'll say she's exhausted, which makes sense because she's been working all day. Sunday, January 18th, bought new vacuum. Whoopee! Saturday, January 24th, Becky in bed sick, afraid of scarlet fever. Doctor came to see Becky, sulfur pills did the trick. Quiet evening at home. Tuesday, February 3rd, relaxed in bed. Soaked feet, did fingernails. A lady for a change. One thing I should not be eating so close to this 78 year old diary is Taco Bell nachos, but it is happening. Tuesday, February 10th. Came home at four, found kids fighting. Splitting headache, bed at 10. Wednesday, March 4th. In bed all day sick, my nose runs a steady stream. Friday, March 6th. Took Barry to school. He said, kicked me in the rear, was expelled. We need to talk about Barry. He got expelled for saying the word rear at school. I have so many questions. Number one, who kicked him in the rear? Did that person get in trouble for doing the kicking? I would say kicking someone in the rear seems worse than saying I got kicked in the rear, but that's just me, I don't know. Sunday, March 15th, made jello salad. Glorious day, warm. Friday, April 3rd, Becky not so hot. Diet tea and toast. Cleaned pantry and kitchen drawers. Vacuumed whole house, did a huge wash, made Becky a tweed hat. Becky had me up three times up chucking, bed early, wrote in diary. I think it's really interesting that people were saying up chuck as slang for vomit in the 40s. One fun reference book is a slang dictionary, so we can look up the word up chuck. The first recorded use of the word up chuck as slang for vomit is 1925. There's a lot of fun stuff in the slang dictionary, I gotta tell ya. Flam doodle, flap doodle, gym jams. Saturday, 
April 11th. Dentist, Becky, 10 cavities, no more candy. Oh, Becky. So much bad stuff happens to Becky and Barry, but like, also Becky. Wednesday, April 29th. Kids to school, then back to bed. Uh-oh, over to Helene's. She's having mother-in-law trouble, poor thing. She and her family take a trip to New York City and she mentions a blackout. We know that this is during World War II. This is also a time when cities were doing blackout drills because of the war, so that theoretically your city wouldn't be as visible from the air. I don't know if the blackout she experienced in New York City was a blackout drill specifically for the war, but it could have been, so that's kind of interesting. When Wednesday, May 13th, 67 cents to fill up tank. Barry fell in swamp. So they're on a road trip and Barry fell in a swamp. Barry, my dude. Wednesday, June 24th, made a cake, drove to beach, talked about dogs. Thursday, July 2nd, Becky has rash on face. Poison ivy, I guess. Barry has it on legs as usual. Thursday, July 9th, Barry has diarrhea. Monday, July 13th. Becky has diarrhea now also. Poor Becky. Friday, August 7th. Vacuumed whole house. What a job. I hate to vacuum. This is very exciting. So she made an apron for one of her friends and she wrote a poem to go with it, which is so cool. This is a poem she wrote for her friend, Georgia. Just after you left me the other day, I said to myself, get busy and say, it was no time at all before I had made an apron for you, which shouldn't fade. It may be too gay and it may not fit, but remember me when you launder it. Aw, I love the poem. Poem alert, poem alert, there is another poem. I'm so excited. She wrote a poem about her husband. I sure do wonder as the years roll by if there's anyone as lucky as I. A most perfect home with dear children too. A thoughtful husband who is so true blue. He has a few faults, you can be sure. He squanders his money, so we're always poor. He drools in his sleep and his feet do smell. But despite it all, I do think he is swell. The squandering the money part doesn't sound great, but I can't tell if that's a joke or not. Tuesday, September 29th. Barry took butter and cheese to school accidentally, so brought his lunch to him. Barry, get it together. There are more poems. The poems are the best part of this. There's another poem and it starts with toast. This fine Melba toast was a treat indeed. I just sat right down and had a good feed. I've thought of you often and please let me say, Thanks for the nice gift that brightened my day. Watch for the postman in the next few days. May you like it when at it you gaze. Something I made, not pretentious a bit. Hope you can use it and that it will fit. There's another poem. <laughs> As I wiped your dishes the other day, my ears were open and I heard you say, my stock is so low, I must buy a lot. So here is one that won't have to be bought. A dish towel it is, so bright and gay. I hope you will use it every day. I still don't know what her name is or whether she's still alive, but um, I really like her. I find her really inspiring. She's very enthusiastic and she clearly has a sense of humor. I obviously am obsessed with her poems. I love them. I wish I could get done as much as she does in one day. I hope Barry and Becky are okay. I don't know if they're alive either. They could be though. The secret of reading any person's diary is I do feel like most people are inspiring in their way. Even when they're boring, they're inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, you should subscribe to my channel, you should like the video, you should follow me on Instagram and Twitter, because that's cool. Share this video with everyone you know, post it on all your social media accounts, tell at least one stranger to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, okay, bye.